Dwight, what was it like growing up in Ontario playing basketball? Uh, I mean, it was it was a great experience. Obviously, the I guess launch pad for my career is where I, my first official team was an OBA team, it's Toronto Five O. Um, that kind of led me to play for for grassroots and start playing AU in the states, and then and from there getting college college scholarships and, and moving on to NBA. So. It was definitely the launch pad for my uh, basketball kind of life. Any specific memories stand out from your time uh, playing growing up? Oh, I mean, tons of memories, obviously. Uh, some of the best was when we took took our OBA teams. Because um, I played for, for an Etobicoke team as well in Toronto Five O, And we had a couple instances where we took those teams to the States, which was really fun. Um, and kind of competed for the first time against kind of American competition. And um, same thing with, with Grassroots Canada. Um, spent a lot of time in the States with those guys. So it's... It was kind of a different vibe when you take a bunch of kids from Toronto and Ontario and, and kind of compete in another country. Like you kind of, it wasn't on your jersey, but you felt like you're representing Canada. So that was always fun and made you compete a little harder. Do you have a view of the landscape now and how it's changed? Like what it's like in Ontario to play now? I mean, all I know is we got a lot more talent getting, getting seen, a lot more visibility, which is, I think, the most important thing. Because growing up in Toronto, um, you know how much talent there is here. So you see it on a daily basis at... In TDSB, you see it in OBA, you see it in guys playing AU and, and all the different preps now. Um, but when I was coming up, there wasn't necessarily the same amount of exposure as it is today. So um, I think with the advent of social media and, and, and guys getting excited about more Canadian players, um, I think now a lot of guys are getting the recognition they deserve. And it's, it's uh, somewhat long overdue, but I'm excited that it's happening now. And um, I couldn't be more proud of these guys, these young guys that are kind of uh, continuing the, the legacy of Canada basketball. We recently named you our Ontario Player of the Week. What has the situation in Dallas been that's allowed you to thrive? Um, I mean, I'm playing with a great group of guys that, that know how to play basketball and, and play the right way. So, um, I mean, me following our following our game plan and, and playing to my strengths has allowed those guys to put me in, in positions to be successful. And uh, I've been trying my best to capitalize on those opportunities. When players are getting recruited and looking at schools, how important is it to look at the, the school itself instead of just the basketball program? Uh, it's definitely one of the most important things. Um, I mean, if you're getting recruited for basketball, obviously you want to be able to, to play and have an opportunity to kind of further that side of your life and that career. But um, the ball stops bouncing for everybody at some point. So it's important to set up something for yourself after that and um, to make sure you have a network of people outside of the game that um, can help you and, and uh, nobody can do it by themselves. So going to a school with a good network and, and giving, getting yourself a degree in something that you're passionate about and something that you could could see yourself doing or something that even will just be useful at some point, um, I think is very important. So that that's one of the things that I talk to guys about that are coming up that I see in Toronto is um, taking care of the high school is, is the most important thing. So you have no nothing holding you back from that decision. So you can pick between schools um, that may have better educations or um, be in situations where you could become more successful after basketball. So that's that's definitely very important. And last one, what's your best piece of advice for a young, say, like 14-year-old boy or girl in Ontario growing up trying to get to the next level at basketball? Um, the most important thing is, is, have, is have faith and confidence in the fact that you can be as successful as you want to be. And, um, I mean, at the age 13, 14, the whole world's in front of you. And um, it comes down to how hard you want to work and how dedicated you want to be. So... If you love the game, you should treat it, as a, treat it as such and not let anything take it away. So that comes down to doing what you're supposed to do um, outside of the court and not getting in trouble and um, most importantly hand, handling your grades so that nobody can, can stop you from getting on the court because um, you never want to be good enough and then not be able to succeed because something else stopped you. So, um, yeah, that's the biggest thing I would say is, is avoid distractions and, and dedicate yourself as much as you can.